Hello friends, this is teacher JB. Let us start English. Uh, today we are going to start English with the story Kids and their teacher. Kids and their teacher. First, let us listen to the audio. He has a job. He is a teacher. He teaches kids. He teaches them how to read. He teaches them how to spell. The kids are fast learners. They learn how to read quickly. They learn how to spell quickly. He likes his job. He likes kids. He likes to teach kids new things. You know, uh, before we read the story, let us practice vocabulary. The first one, job. Job is spells J O B. Job. He has a job. He has a job. And next one, teacher. Teacher. Teacher spells T E A C H E R. Teacher. He is a teacher. He is a teacher. Next one. Teach. Teach spells T E A C H. Teach. If you teach, you are a teacher. Teach. He teaches kids. He teaches kids. Next one. How. How spells H O W. How. And next one, read. Read spells R E A D. Read. He teaches them how to read. He teaches them how to read. Next one, spell. Spell spells S P E L L. Spell. Spell. He teaches them how to spell. He teaches them how to spell. Next one, fast. Fast spells F A S T. Fast. And next one, learner. Learner. Learner spells L E A R N E R. Learner. Learner. It comes from learn and the person who learns is a learner the kids are fast learners the kids are fast learners the next one learn learn spells l e a r n learn learn they learn how to read quickly they learn how to read quickly and next one Quickly, quickly, Q U I C K L Y, quickly, and then sentence is going to be they learn how to spell quickly. They learn how to spell quickly. And next one, his or is. So if you read strongly, it becomes his. And if you read weekly, it becomes is. His is spells H I S. His. He likes his job. He likes his job. And next one, like. Like. L I K E. Like. He likes kids. He likes kids. And the last one, new. New spells N E W new. He likes to teach kids new things. He likes to teach kids new things. Now let us read the story. He has a job. He is a teacher. He teaches kids. He teaches them how to read. He teaches them how to spell. The kids are fast learners. 
They learn how to read quickly. They learn how to spell quickly. He likes his job. He likes kids. He likes to teach kids new things. So let us go back to the beginning of the story. He has a job. He has a he has a he has a job. He's a he's a you can read all things together. He's he's a teacher. He's a teacher. He teaches kids. So teaches kids. T Te teaches. Teach and teaches kids. He teaches the kids. He teaches kids. He teaches kids. He teaches them. Teach. Teach. And then teaches. Teaches them. Teaches them how to read. Teaches them. Stum. Teach them. Teaches them how to spell. The kids are key. Kids and kids are fast learners. So when you read this part, you don't have to pronounce T. Just say fast learners. Fast learners. They learn how to read quickly. Quickly. You don't have to say quickly. Say quickly. Quickly. They learn how to spell quickly. He likes this. Likes this. So here is sounds like. Likes. And then H is silent. Likes it. He likes his job. Likes his, his job. He likes it. Here, likes. Likes. And then skit. He likes it. He likes to. Likes to. Likes. Likes to teach kids new things. He likes to teach kids new things. Okay, let's read the story just one more time. He has a job. He's a teacher. He teaches kids. He teaches them how to read. He teaches them how to spell. The kids are fast learners. They learn how to read quickly. They learn how to spell quickly. He likes his job. He likes kids. He likes to teach kids new things. Now let us uh, read the story in past tense. The past of has is had. So read had a. He had a job. Is. Was. Was a. He was a teacher. Teaches. Teach. Teach is taught. T-A-U-G-H-T. And you read taught. He taught kids. He taught. T-A-U-G-H-T. He taught, he taught them how to read. He taught, T-A-U-G-H-T. He taught them how to spell. The kids are, the kids were fast learners. They learn L-E-A-R-N and then it's regular. So put E-D and this E-D sounds D. You say learned, learned. They learned how to read quickly. They learned, R-N-E-D, how to spell quickly. He liked, like E-D, and then this E sounds t. So you say liked. He liked his job. He liked his, he liked his job. He liked, he liked his, uh, he liked kids. He liked, he liked to teach kids new things. Okay, let's read the story just one more time. He had a job. He was a teacher. He taught kids. He taught them how to read. He taught them how to spell. The kids were fast learners. They learned how to read quickly. They learned how to spell quickly. He liked his job. He liked kids. He liked to teach kids new things. Now let us do close test and fill in the blanks. He has job. He has a job. He has a job. He a teacher. We need a verb. He's a teacher. He's a teacher. He teaches. 
He teaches kids. He teaches kids. He teaches them how to read. How to read. He teaches them how to read. He teaches them to spell. How to spell. He teaches them how to spell. The kids fast learners. The kids are fast learners. They learn to read quickly. They learn how to read quickly. They learn how to read quickly. They learn how to spell quickly. How to spell quickly. They learn how to spell quickly. He likes job. He likes his job. He likes his job. Likes kids. He likes kids. He likes kids. He likes teach kids new things. He likes to teach kids new things. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning of the story and then let's study the sentence structures. He is the subject, has is the verb, and a job is an object. He, subject, is a verb, a teacher is a complement. C O M P L E M E N T, complement. He teaches kids. He, subject, teaches, verb, kid, object. He, subject, teaches, verb, them is an indirect object, and how to read is going to be direct object. He teaches them how to spell, same thing, subject, verb, indirect object, and how to spell direct object. The kid subject are verb fast learners. Complement they subject learn verb how to read quickly. Actually, the whole thing is going to be an object, and quickly itself is an adverb. Okay, they learn how to spell quickly. They subject learn and how to spell quickly is an object. Here, quickly is at a verb. He subject likes verb his job, object. He subject likes verb and kit, object. He subject likes verb to teach kit. So this is going to be an uh, indirect object and new things. It's going to be direct object. So. Let's go just back to the sentences and then read them one more time. He has a job. He's a teacher. He teaches kids. He teaches them how to read. He teaches them how to spell. The kids are fast learners. They learn how to read quickly. They learn how to spell quickly. He likes his job. He likes kids. He likes to teach kids new things. Now let us do scramble the sentences. The first one, okay, we have he as the subject, and then teaches is the verb. He teaches them how to read. He teaches them how to read. And next one, okay, so we don't see the subject, but here, kids and learners, and the verb is are. So it looks like the kids is the subject. The kids are fast learners. The kids are fast learners. And next one. Okay, so this one to spell. How to spell? Kids. Okay, so kids is the subject and learn is the verb. And kids learn how to spell. Kids learn how to spell. And next one. They is the subject. They and learn is the verb. New things, object, quickly. They learn new things, object, quickly. And then finally, okay, so the subject, I don't know, it could be the kid, it could be the teacher, or, okay, now the thing is, likes is the verb. So we need a singular subject. The teacher 
likes to teach kids, the kids, teacher. Okay, here, the teacher likes to teach the kids. The teacher likes to teach, teach, to teach the kids. Okay, here, this is the subject and verb, indirect object, and how to read. It's going to be direct object. The kids, subject, verb, fast learners, complement. And fast is an adjective describing learners. Kids, subject, learn, verb, how to spell, object. They, subject, verb, new things. So this is going to be object, quickly is a verb describing learn. Okay? And the teacher, subject, likes, verb, to teach the kids is going to be the object. The whole thing is going to be the object. Okay, let's read the sentences one more time. He teaches them how to read. The kids are fast learners. Kids learn how to spell. They learn new things quickly. The teacher likes to teach the kids. Okay, now let us listen. And repeat. He teaches them how to read. He teaches them how to read. He teaches them how to read. The kids are fast learners. The kids are fast lear learners. The kids are fast learner learners. Kids learn how to spell. Kids learn how to spell. Kids learn how to spell. They learn new things quickly. They learn new things quickly. They learn new things quickly. The teacher likes to teach the kids. The teacher likes to teach the kids. The teacher like to teach the kids okay let's go back to the first sentence he teaches them here read this part teaches them teach teach teaches them teaches them teaches them how to read the kids are teach are kids are fast learners as i said you don't have to pronounce t say fast learners and kids learn kids learn kids kids learn kids learn how to spell they learn new things quickly quickly the teacher likes to teach the kids likes the teacher likes to the teacher likes to teach the kids Okay, let's read the sentences one more time. He teaches them, teaches them how to read. The kids are fast learners. Kids learn how to spell. They learn new things quickly. The teacher likes to teach the kids. He teaches them how to read. The kids are fast learners. Kids learn how to spell. They learn how they learn new things quickly. The teacher likes to teach the kids. The teacher likes to teach the kids. Now we're going to listen to the audio just one more time. Listen, please. He has a job. He is a teacher. He teaches kids. He teaches them how to read. He teaches them how to spell. The kids are fast learners. They learn how to read quickly. They learn how to spell quickly. He likes his job. He likes kids. He likes to teach kids new things. Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. I will come back to you with another story as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.